Yeah, I'm kinda sick at the moment, so that's why my voice sounds a bit goofy. But anyway, our first step is to duplicate our layer using Ctrl J. And with the top layer selected, we go to Filter, look for Blur, then Lens Blur. So there's a lot of different settings you can pick from, but for this, I make sure that everything below radius is set to zero, and then we're gonna set our radius to 90. And once you've done that, we can close this menu by hitting OK. With the same layer selected, go to Blending Modes and select Screen, and you can kind of see the effect start to happen. And because this is a little bit more dramatic than I'm looking for, I'm going to lower the opacity slightly. And this whole area is just preference. And now we're going to make a Curves Adjustment layer. For your top layer, select Adjustments, and press this icon for Curves. Select these two points and drag them accordingly. To put it simply, the lower one is going to lower the exposure and the higher one is going to brighten the exposure. And again, I'm lowering the opacity. And a lot of people would be happy with this as their final effect, but I like to add a gradient map. So we come down here, select gradient map, click this and look for the cloud preset folder. This is full of very bright, cool gradients which kind of finalize the effect. Any of these will work, and again, blending mode, screen, lower the opacity. So yeah, that's the Y2K Dreamy Blur effect, and here's the difference. As always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.